Okay, so the next one we're gonna be talking about is this one right here. Is this Banana Republic Dark Cherry in Amber? Uh, same boxing presentation, everything like that as the other one. So if you want a reference point or if you're looking for certain things that might or may not be real, check on the box. I'll try to highlight some things in the video that I have noticed to kind of give you a better inclination on what's the real deal and what's not the real deal. So what everybody wants to know about this one, the same exact thing. You're gonna get longevity, your projection, the notes behind it and what it smells like to me. So to start things off, I'm gonna do something a little bit differently. I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of because I've worn this several times and I'm gonna show you a quick spray of the atomizer and then let you know right off rip what it smells like. So let's check that out. So you can see, it's actually got a fairly decent atomizer on it. Not overpowered, not weak. It's just, you know, middle of the row, but it's pretty good. Same thing, the bottle's really, really solid. Uh, these are really good models and everything like that. Feel pretty good, the weight's really nice. Sometimes you can tell a cheap product from a good product, from just as simple as just the bottle itself and this one's really good all right so what you're going to get with this one what this reminds me of it's kind of odd to say this but you know those cordial cherries that come out right around the holidays you know the ones that are like chocolate covered cherries and then they got that little sugary delicious warm and inviting gooey center in there that white cream in there with like the juices around it and stuff like that those cordial cherries that's what this kind of reminds me of but imagine this wafting through the air next to a small bouquet of like floral notes that's kind of what this actually reminds me of Overall, what you're gonna get with this, it's very sweet. Uh, you can definitely tell that there's cherry and there's amber, because hence it's actually in the name. You get a little bit of floral quartz, and it's very inviting, very slightly mouth-watering-ish, bordering on that gourmand mind. Uh, it, overall, it's really, really good. Now, there's like a very subtle hint in the dry down. You get it a little bit, it's, a little bit like an almondy note, but it's very, very subtle. It's very, very faint. It's not super prominent in this one, but it's pretty nice. Now, longevity on this, what I would say is for the longevity on this one, unfortunately, it tends to lean in that wimpy category, and I really hate to say that because I don't really like saying that too much. It's it's not that it's a bad fragrance at all. Just the performance is, is very lacking. Um, you're only going to get about two maybe three hours out of this for your longevity oh joke if you're good you got a really good ph balance for me i actually got about four and a half hours max at five at five it was basically a skin scent and that, that's the big problem with it um projection same thing it's very intimate it's very subtle it's not going to cascade out into the room it's not going to open invitation talk to that person clear in the other corner or anything like that if you want it to project you're gonna have to spray heavily. This is one of the few fragrances, and I will say this is one of the few fragrances, go ahead and hit yourself for like 15 or 16 sprays. I know you're like, whoa, 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 bro. Like 15, 16 sprays, you're good. Don't worry about it. 15, 16 sprays, hit yourself up, double up, major zones, next, lace your neck up like a chain, you're gonna be fine. You're not gonna offend anybody. It's not gonna invade their airspace or anything like that. If you're moving around the room, it's gonna create like a little sillage while we're on you, which is kind of what you're going for. So projection on this one, like I said, intimate zone, it's like a one to two foot radius. It's really not getting out there. Now the notes, what you're gonna get with this is you're going to get a sour cherry. And before we go into any more of the notes, I'm gonna tell you right now, some people will be out here and they will say, this is like Tom Ford lost cherry. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't, do that. Do not say that this is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Tom Ford Lost Cherry, phenomenal fragrance. Different type of smell. That cherry is a little bit more sour than this one. This one tends to be, even though they say it's a sour cherry, this is more of a sweet gourmandish cherry. Completely different smell profile. Both smell very, very good, but in different categories. Just because it's got that sour cherry note in there, they're not the same. So don't, don't do yourself a disservice. If they are complimenting you and say, man, you smell good. 
Don't disservice the fragrance. Don't disservice that other one because it's in a completely different league. And if they smell that one, they are gonna call you out on it right away. Because if somebody told me this was Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, I'm gonna know right away that they're lying. So don't do that to yourself. It's not worth it. If they're complimenting you, they already enjoy it, they already like it. Just tell them, hey, dark cherry and amber. Boom, keep it moving. Start into the next conversation. Now the notes. All right, so what you're gonna get with this one is you're gonna get a sour cherry for the notes and you're gonna get a pink frasia. In the mids, you're gonna get cherry blossom and praline, which is gonna give you that creamy, sweet texture-ish. And then of course, you're gonna have red amber and then to make it a little bit more masculine, you're gonna get that cedar that balances all out in the bottom. When this thing blends together, it is a very awesome fragrance and don't sleep on it. You get it for the right price. It's a great fragrance to have. Nothing more needs to be said. All right, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Do me a solid. If any part of this video, even if it was like 10, 20 seconds or whatever the case was, was informative, good for you. You laughed, you cried, you shed a tear, something. If it did something for you and it resonated with you in some kind of way, Hit that little button over there. It don't cost you nothing. It's gonna help me out in the algorithm. I'm still a small channel. I'm trying to get out here, trying to do my thing, and I wanna make content that's right for you, the viewer. If I'm not doing something right, or if you wanna see something in the video, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the comments up. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comments, and I'll do it. And I might even shout you out on the next video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.